Fort Wayne's Wolf in Dessauer was the collaboration of city native Sam Wolf and Pennsylvania transplant Myron Dessauer. Their dry goods store opened in the spring of 1896 with two key principles, customer satisfaction and saturation advertising. 13 employees on South Calhoun Street quickly outgrew the space and moved to the space that is now the PNC Bank building. That lasted fewer than 10 years and in 1917 the store moved into its iconic building at Calhoun in Washington, the site of the current I&M building, where it would stay until 1959 when it downsized to what is now Citizen Square. But that six-story white building was where W&D thrived, in no small part due to a key hire. In 1917, Wolf and Dessauer brought on Irving Bud Latz. He was described as a natural-born retailer who instinctively knew if an item would sell. Latz soon bought out Wolf and Dessauer and began to innovate constantly. With a return policy that seems impossible, customers could return any item at any time, no questions asked. We had a gentleman return something that had actually come from Fishman's, which was another high-end store. Um, but he was quite distraught in returning it, and we just accepted the return, and then later dealt with taking it down to Fishman's for the credit. I was told that there was a guy who bought a bicycle, and uh, he said, would you please help me load this uh, in my car? And one of the managers said, sure, we'll help you load it in the car. Turned out he didn't actually buy it. <laughs> <laughs> the manager helped him load a stolen bike in his car. The store carried everything, bringing the world to Fort Wayne. Customers dressed up to shop. From the soda fountain on the street level to the high-end tea room on the sixth floor, everything was done wholeheartedly for the pleasure of the customer. Bud Latz had put together a diverse team that was constantly topping itself. Latz drew up the iconic light displays and his team made it happen. Christmas at Wolf and Death's Hour still echoes in downtown Fort Wayne. Dirk Rowley, Wayne 15 News.